Tim Zhu gets annihilated by Bakram Murtazaliev in three rounds. I will discuss the fight and the state of the 154 pound division next. This is the parry. We don't pull or duck no punches and the parry is fundamental to boxing. First let me ask you to jab that like button, lead hook that share button, uppercut the subscribe button, and throw a combination at the notification bell so you can stay updated when we drop new content. This is Bomani UFG, hitting y'all with another quick jab off the parry. Bakram Mutazaliev retains his IBF 154-pound strap and absolutely dog walks the former junior middleweight champion Tim Zhu in three rounds. In round one, Tim Zhu looked good. Pressure in the champion and landed some good shots, but in round two, things got real ugly for the Aussie. The defending junior middleweight champion, Mertazaliev, began landing his jab effectively and damaging left hook that dropped Zhu not once, not twice, but he dropped Zhu three times in the second round. And in round three, he delivered another crushing left hook that dropped him and left him on wobbly legs, causing his corner to throw in the towel, putting it into the bout in round three. To Tim Zhu's credit, he fought hard and to the very end and went out on his shield like a champion. I believe a Zhu victory would have set up a fight between him and the pound for pound best Terence Crawford. Mertel Azaliev and victory has shaken up the division and made things rather interesting. Mertel Azaliev has been paid step aside money after being mandatory for Jamel Charlo's strap when he was champion. But finally got the opportunity to fight for the IBF title against Jack Colke, winning by KO. Mertel Azaliev, whose record is now 23-0 with 17 knockouts, just made a name for himself in the division. And I think a fight between him and Terence Crawford could be interesting. Mertazaliev displayed power, high volume punching, and a good jab and left hook. And he showed he had some grit. You have Spence making his debut at 154 against the unified champion Sebastian Fondora. The winner of that fight should be in position to fight one of the other champions being Crawford and Mertazaliev. Not to mention Charlo who's the WBC champion in recess will be making his return to the division soon. The junior middleweight division has some potential big fights on the horizon. Let's see how this all plays out down the line. Who would you like to see Mertazaliev fight next? Leave your comment down in the comment section. And congratulations to Bakram Mertazaliev for defending his IBF strap. Once again, let me remind you to jab that like button, lead hook that share button, uppercut that subscribe button, and throw a combination at the notification bell so you can stay updated when we drop new content. This is the parry where we don't pull or duck no punches, and the parry is fundamental to boxing. This is Bomani UFG hitting y'all with another quick jab off the parry. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, I'm out. Peace. Actually, now we're going to show you how to catch the jab. Um, actually, in boxing, it's called parrying.